So the view is getting slammed by its viewers, and this time it's not for the reason that you would normally think. In this case, it's the fact that they only had Morgan Freeman on for just a few short minutes. Actually, I timed it out. From the moment he first spoke to the moment he last spoke, about 5 minutes and 30 seconds. That's right, Morgan Freeman, probably top 10 list actor, celebrity, A-lister on many people's lists. The View only had just over five minutes for him. And so, of course, the audience and those who are watching are like, what's the deal with this? I mean, how could you have this guy on and then only keep him there? I'm going to tell you why. See, the woke out there, they don't know why Morgan Freeman was only on there for five minutes. But there's a reason why. I'm going to share that with you at the end. Some of you probably already know. But I'm going to go through the segment with you. I'm only going to stop him a couple times because the things that he does say are pretty interesting. And if you're not a watcher of The View because you just can't stand it, this one's okay because mostly Morgan Freeman speaking. And although I don't always agree with everything Morgan Freeman says, in this case, it's pretty bearable. And also getting to the end when they actually boot him off is kind of interesting and fun. And then hopefully you want to stick around for the reason why I believe they did this. Please welcome the incredible Morgan Freeman. Very popular. Very popular. I guess he's not popular enough to have him on for a little bit more than five minutes, though. All right, back. There's a reason for that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Freeman, thank you for being here. It's on my the great show. pleasure to see you ladies again. Thank you. In your career that spans almost six decades, uh, you've done really cool projects. But this new series, Life on Planet Earth, is remarkable. What drew you to this? <laughs> You want the truth or should I make something up? No. <laughs> Which one's more interesting? <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg and the rest of the crew are already clinching their butts. <laughs> now, um, I'm one of those people who's very, very interested in this subject, life on the planet. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. You understand that today, life on the planet is in a little bit of trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're the cause of it. Mm -hmm. That's right. There have been, if I remember correctly, six extinction level events mm. on the planet since life began. Mm -hmm. I mean, six times, large, large portions of life, not human life we're talking, we're talking just life, mm. gone, destroyed. Yeah. We're headed for another one. Mm. Scientists have said, if we don't hurry up and change our ways, there's going to be a cataclysmic event mm. that will wipe many of us off the face of the earth. God. It's Including scary. Us. This is true. Uh, there's, this is absolutely not true. Even if the globe continued to warm a degree, two degrees, three degrees, if all of the ice caps melted, this would not wipe humanity or many other species off. This is something that the globe has seen many times over. In fact, if you look at if you want to look at the Earth in the scientific 4.6 billion year old history the globe has mostly been warm having a time period where there's ice caps at all is actually a rarity on planet earth the globe warming up would not actually do in human beings um, it would have to get super super warm in order for that to happen and something like that would take a very long time well you look back and this series does that how far back does life exist on this planet? Mm -hmm. And why does it still exist? It is because life is tenacious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Life. We're not talking about human beings here. We're talking about the planet. Yeah, yeah. She'll stay. Yeah. Well, it's tenacious if we would just leave it alone. Leave it alone. The, MP, the human can, can, uh, 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 you know, interruption of all of that is what's causing all the problems. I hope that it's not too late. But let me ask you this. Jeff. I love the way Morgan keeps his eyes fixed on her because she's just muttering just nonsense garbage. She has no idea what she's with. We just leave it alone. How about you leave it alone? You know what I mean? What do you think? You think your glasses, your clothes didn't have a carbon footprint? You don't think the electricity that it takes to run the view has a carbon footprint? 
How did you get to the view? Are you leaving the planet alone? No, she's not leaving the planet alone. She wants you to leave the planet alone. Did you, did seeing the rise and fall of all these species, because some are coming in too, right? Mm -hmm. And many are leaving mm -hmm. the planet. Mm -hmm. Did that change your perspective on life? My perspective on life? I don't think it changed my perspective. It just enhanced it. Mm -hmm. Because for a long time now, I've been listening to what they say about, you know, I drive an electric car. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, me too. Yeah. By the way, driving an electric car is not going to help the planet. The strip mining of the planet that it takes to get the materials for the electric car are absolutely terrible. The amount of carbon that's released to put together those batteries is incredible. Uh, by the way, once those batteries are used up, in many cases, many of the pieces are not even recyclable. There's some good companies out there right now that are actually trying to figure out how to recycle them. And, and some are, I think, getting close. I'm not sure exactly how much of it is truly accurate. But then, of course, when you charge up those electric vehicles, most of that power is coming from oil and coal anyway. We actually need a better solution than that. If you really care about the planet and you really care about carbon output, electric vehicles, the way that they're constructed right now, is really not your solution. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. um, and no, it did not change my no, perspective. No. You've always been concerned. Uh, well, yes, yeah. uh, always relative uh, how far can you go back with always yeah. yeah well this documentary is just visually stunning and I, i'm just blown away by the special effects and you've been in so many amazing films and had exposure to uh, the special effects were you blown away by how realistic and lifelike this turned out you know i know that there were no human beings standing there filming <laughs> no these guys. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I know that. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> it's good. Well, they have the bones. Right. They, they reconstruct. It's, it's beautiful. I, it's, yeah. it, it's what we can do now with yeah. technology. Right. You know? right. and it's, it's just the most amazing kind of stuff. I, I, I want to ask you about a different document. Go ahead. Um, as some politicians around the country. This is where things are going to start to get rough. She wants to talk about a different documentary. So this is going to switch things to a different topic. And producers in the back are going to start to get a little bit worried about what Morgan Freeman could possibly say. You try to erase black history. Mm. You're making sure people don't forget vital parts of our past, yeah. including this documentary that you executive produced called 761st. Did I get that right? Yeah, 761st Tank Battalion, the original mm -hmm. Black Panthers, yeah. mm -hmm. oh. about the first black battalion to fight in World War II. First black armored battalion. Yes. Yeah. You see how Morgan Freeman corrected her with the correct information? That's what Morgan Freeman does. He doesn't just go along with any nonsense. So when the producers heard that, they are probably like, uh-oh, Morgan's in the mood. So we need to be careful here with this subject. Last thing we need is this guy saying things that we don't agree with. You served in the Air Force. I, mm -hmm. I know that. Um, this film was then very personal to you. Oh, yes, okay. heavens. Uh, I movie buff from early childhood. I saw my first movie when I was like six years old. Mm. Uh, it was uh, King Kong. Oh, that was mm. a good one. Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Um, but I just movies, movies, movies. Yeah. yeah. And you know, start in the 40s and move up. And how many times did I see black people in the movies? And if I did see them, mm -hmm. what were they doing? Yeah. They were, <laughs> yep. they yeah. were servants. Servants. Like they were always, kind of I stuff. know, it's, it's, a, it's a, appalling. I'll give you the name. If you watch yeah. old movies, yeah. Betty Davis movies, are particularly, even though she's great, that, and it's the period. It's not her fault, it's the, the period. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's upsetting to watch, doing. tell you the well, truth. Well, uh, it shouldn't be that way, it because is. somebody did make money. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Again, Morgan's not saying anything terrible right now, but this is what he does. He tells you what he's thinking, and he he won't let you just lead the conversation. If he's thinking something in his mind, and he feels like you're trying to bloviate a little bit on some little point you're trying to make, he will pull you back from this. Again, producers are watching this, and they're worried because they know Morgan Freeman's history on this topic, which of course I'm going to share with you in just a bit. And. Now, it was, that's the time 
was. Now look at today. Did you see Whoopi's eyes there? <laughs> she she got the signal immediately. She's like, uh, get him off. We got to stop him now. Things, uh, we we're always in flux. Yeah. 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 Always. Oh, we've always been here. Yeah. Fluxing out. Flux. <laughs> exactly. I had a question, but they, I, we run out of time. That's it. Five minutes, 30 seconds for Morgan Freeman, probably one of the top 10 A-listers, actors, maybe of all time on some people's list, maybe not everybody's. So what's going on here? The reason this is happening is because The View puts forth its particular ideological view of the world, which they want people to listen to and to agree with. The worst thing that they can have there is a, in this case, a black American, specifically a black American who disagrees with where they're coming from, especially on black history. Because if he continues to elaborate, he might start to share some real truth with that audience that they do not want him to talk about. Something like what Morgan Freeman has said in the past on this very subject. Now, this is an old video, so bear with the quality of it, but this is certainly where Morgan Freeman comes from in some ways on this topic. It's just a specific piece of it, but it just lets you know that this guy is not riding the woke train when it comes to this topic. Black History Month you find ridiculous. Why? You're gonna relegate my history to a month? Oh, come well, on. What do you do with yours? What, which month is white history month? No, well, no, 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 come on, tell me. Well, the, I'm Jewish. Okay, which I'm month Jewish. is Jewish history month? Uh, there isn't one. Oh, oh, why not? Do yeah. you want one? No, no, no. I, 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 I don't either. I don't want a black history month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? And Stop still... talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. Wow. This is why producers in the back had to tell Whoopi to stop. Because if the, the people, the audience who watches The View would see anything like this, they would be like, these... These, lib these woke people, they've been lying to me all along. This is pure honesty, truth, and genius here because he's absolutely correct. All in all, I agree with him. Black history is American history. How do you separate the two? Black and brown Americans have been in this country for hundreds of years. To, to relegate a month is kind of insulting, to be honest with you. And I, I think Morgan Freeman is insulted by it. And he brings up a great point. How are we going to end this whole racist thing? We'll stop talking about it. I agree with them. It doesn't mean that we don't teach about the bad and the good in our history. We, we have to teach history, honestly. But you got to stop at some point. It's like an old wound that begins to heal over and you get that little scab. And then what happens is they just pick that scab right off. And then it heals over and you pick it off and it just festers. And all of a sudden you have generations that are being born now in the early 2000s. They don't know anything of what was going on in pre-Civil War, Civil War, Jim Crow era, progressive era. All they know is modern times, but they're being told, nope, racism, racism, racism. So they grow up hearing it. They just have to agree that that's somehow what it is. Morgan Freeman says, I'm going to stop calling you a white guy. Stop calling me a black guy. And... The view can't have this. You cannot have that audience seeing this because then they're going to really wake up. They're not going to be woke. They're going to be wake. They're going to be awake. And uh, and this is why they had to cut him off because he's unpredictable. He can go anywhere with it. And so they, they can't have that happen. That's the only explanation of five minutes and 30 seconds. Even if somebody would want to say, well, it was the end of the program. I don't even know if it was the end of the program because I didn't watch the whole program because I'm not going to watch the whole program. But even if it was the end of the program, you still have the guy on there and you continue to play segments of that on a different program or you plan out better than five minutes and 30 seconds from Morgan Freeman. I mean, there's really no other reason. So I thought you guys would enjoy this one. Tell me your thoughts. Am I right on this? Am I missing something? Uh, if there's anyone who's super woke out there and you want to defend the view on this and say, no, that's not what it was. Let me know. I would love to hear it. Uh, all comments are welcome. All right. I'll catch you on the next one.